Oh, we're trying to hit a head. It's like aiming into a sea of danger. There we go. We got her. Oh, no. She did the touchies. Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is Games Kicks, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die Vanilla Style. In the last episode, we went over to the hospital and we got ourselves the chemist station working for us now to make in gunpowder. And today, we're probably gonna want to work on our base, but we also have to go on a big grind. So it's unavoidable, it has to be done. So it's gonna be waffles and grind. <laughs> anyway, either way, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Now, I did increase the time uh, to 90 minutes from 60 minutes. It's just because the grinding has to be done. And um, I just want to give us a little bit more time so we have some good amount of resources that we can use for the next Horde Night because I want to have the Horde Night at our place here potentially and not going back to the other base that that would be pretty neat so let's go we're gonna go from cluster to cluster we're going to try uh, yeah let's leave the light on actually that's brilliant and we're gonna go from cluster to cluster and hopefully we're also gonna be able to put more points into minus 69 into sexy saurus all that jazz all the goodness and and um, that way we keep our stamina refreshed and up let me see what we have here Miner 69er is going to be mining tools 80, which is going to take a while. Well, with the shovel, it probably will be a lot faster. But um, again, augers always would be handy for that. I don't think we have an auger yet. I know I'm playing two games. I'm playing the modded and the, and the vanilla style. But I do get mixed up completely with what I have in what game. It's unbelievable. And I play usually each game in straight succession. Like I record two, three episodes each time I play one of them. And I still forget. <laughs> it's really insane so here we have mining tools already level 53 and let's see actually after we finish this stone and the next one let's see how, what our level looks like if we're already halfway through then 80 actually could be really fast also the other thing that, did i check sexy saurus Ooh, 20 points for sexy saurus do i want this now are we okay i think we're okay for the moment for mining we might want to go with some more steel with steel tools at some point I can hear footsies, but I can't really see anybody noticing me. That's good. That's good. Okay, so let's let's have a look. Was mining tools? Ah, yeah. Okay, this is gonna take a while. There we go. There we have a person over there in the distance. That's okay. They're not noticing me, which is actually perfect. We might actually want to get yeah down here. You notice me now. Ah, yes, there we go. And we're stunned. Okay, I probably should have taken a drink with me not to get stunned. Let's quickly eat something, get a little bit of wellness up and possibly some healing. There we go. Yes, you're getting health. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. So we need a lot of iron, basically. Um, we have two forges. We're going to bombard them with iron. We want to make loads of rebar frames. Then we also want to put a lot of stone in them. We can't make cement mix fast enough for what we need. So we might actually, we might want to focus on cement first before rebar. I'm not really 100% sure. We have to go and see what the state of our base is. And I also would like to finish the upstairs. There's also going to be more added to the base, to the other side of the staircase. Uh, so people are asking, why did I make the staircase so big? I actually wanted it that big because I'm planning on building another part of the building right beside it. So we're going to make this a bigger place. But it will probably be um, slightly elevated. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do that without exposing the stairs too much. But we might actually just put a wall on the other side of the stairs to protect it. And then we're going to build things on, um, I nearly said high heels, <laughs> on pillars. So that's the, that's the plan. So let's see, how much iron did we get from that? 410. So if we do another two or three of those, this we can bring to the chemistry station. Yeah, the chemistry station is toolsmithing um, 8 or something, or science 8. That's the problem, no, science 7. And science 7 cannot be unlocked until we're level 60. So I'm saving my points for that because we're level 51 right now. And um, we're going to have to probably use our shovel for something productive in that way. Well, we have to get clay anyway, so we might actually do that because that well, that way we should level up quite fast um, anyway. Oh, we ain't got another one. I'm just mining. I didn't know it was your mining spot. Okay, I'm sorry. Is it, is it your mining spot? Is that what it is? Oh, balls. I thought we had a bow and I prematurely exploded. Yes, you can take it whatever way you want it. That's okay. Just remember, that's not how it's meant. Damn it. I can't really at all hit. Uh, 
Yes! I hit the one circling, but I can't hit it when it straightly runs at me. <laughs> oh, my boss. I'm so used to them circling being terrible that if, if they run straight at me, I can't hit them. It's like, you're not circling. I don't have to adjust for anything. That's not right. I wonder if this is what's going to happen when Alpha 17 comes out and you have, like, no more disturbingly pathing zombies and they run perfectly for you. I probably will just miss because I will always try to adjust, like, for, for the wonky run that they usually have. And people who never saw me play before, they're gonna look at this guy like, oh my god, what a noob, he can't even hit a zombie who's running straight at him. It's like, I'm sorry, before we had to aim like this. <laughs> or spray and pray, whatever was easier. So anyway, by the time you see this episode, we should have probably posted our first attempt in uh, one of the zombie maps of Black Ops 4, which is really, really awesome. I'm really enjoying this. There's so much to these maps. Like there's like, um, challenges in it there's like um certain things you have to do to trigger certain events there's easter eggs in the easter eggs i'm not really too familiar with because i don't know really a lot about the genre and about the um story or lore of the game so a lot of easter eggs i probably wouldn't even get or understand but um we're still trying to see uh, to get to know them all and see if we can manage to do them because for achievements reasons that would be really really good to unlock the the achievements for them that are related to that so if you have played it actually yet and you, you played the zombie maps let me know what you think and which zombie map is your favorite in the moment i'm stuck at, at uh, nine because that's the one i wanted to first get fully um fully known and completed as much as possible and then I'm gonna move on to the next one. So I want to do kind of one at a time, if you know what I mean, instead of just all and have fun. And then we played a little bit of the BR of that as well, which was a lot of fun. But um, I saw one of you guys link me a mod to a digger or something like a boogie. I haven't really looked into the source of it or into the actual, um, what the mod does and where you can get it from. So I just saw the video clip, but it's like somebody driving a big digger and like digging up tons of sand. I actually don't know if that sand goes into your inventory or if it's just for clearing an area. Because sometimes you just want to say, okay, I want this area flat, I want to clear it. I don't care about picking up all the junk, like, you know? So I wonder if that has more to do with that than um, actually collecting sand because I couldn't see in the video if it kept the resources or not. I, I didn't watch the end of it, so it could have been in the end of it. It looks like we haven't been in this house here before. Okay, where's the spitter? Oh, there's the big guy. We want to take him out. Ah, balls. Hands down. No touchies, dude. No touchies. There we go. Thank you. Oh, nice. He has a shovel. Wow. It's an iron shovel and it's better than ours. That is awesome. Where's the Hawaiian guy? Because the last thing I need is him running at us when we least expect it in the house because that would just be awful there we go there we go nice and again and again come on you know you want it oh don't hit my bike oh there's another zombie waking up in the house i think how can I miss his face right in front of me? There we go. You're supposed to get hit in the face when you're right in front. There you go. That was nice. That was lovely. Oh, okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. We've got some soup. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be like, mmm, I got the soup from your pocket. It's pocket soup. I don't think there's anybody in there. Is there anybody in there? Hello? Housekeeping. Housekeeping? Ooh. Housekeeping. Nice. Well, if... Oh, whoop. If that is the encounters we're going to have, I'm happy to have them. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to keep that. We're going to go to our swingy club. Just to make sure, just in case. Maybe find something cool. No? No? I also was told to keep the tents, guys, because I know in every game you can make uh, oil from it. I know that. It's just I never actually do it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know why. It's I, I never needed to, really. I think only in one of my last games I wanted to do it because I really wanted to go OTT on some of the 
things that we can craft, but eh, I don't usually have the need for that much oil, to be honest. Oh, nice. Oh, we already know that. Oh, that's okay. We can sell it. And what about that? Oh, nice. Magnum 44. We can finally assemble it and get the ammunition bag. And what do we have here? Juiciness and goodness. Thank you very much. Okay, this one here. We actually don't need it, so we can just scrap it. And... Oh, yeah. Might as well take the chairs. We got the room. Some free firewood. will last for about an hour or something like that. And what else do we have here? A little bit of untouchy food. Oh, nice. We're going to drink this actually right away. So we don't get stunned by any more zombie zombie trouble okay so let's go over here that's where we're mining and um, i just noticed the house there in the background so i wasn't sure if i had been there before or not anyway let's continue what do our points look like actually not our points our oh wow okay so this is a lot of rubbish we picked up here we don't need that we don't need that thank you very much don't need that now Okay, probably don't need a lot of things right now. And empty jar we're going to get rid of as well, as well as pine seed. Thank you. There we go. Beautiful. There's a horde. There's a horde. That's going to hurt tomorrow. There we go. We got one. There we go. Oh, this is going to get close. I think we're still going to die. Well, especially if we miss. That definitely um, means that we're going to die. Uh, we're trying to hit a head. It's like aiming into a sea of danger there we go we got her oh no she did the touchies oh my balls i don't think i have enough arrows with me as well i have six arrows this is not gonna work out guys we're gonna have to skedaddle Woo! oh my balls we had to skedaddle on that one. Oh no i feel so cheap but hey i didn't have a choice guys you know it you know it. i didn't have a choice are they still after me? Are they still after me? Okay, come in, come in, come in. There we go. You see, one on one, I'm okay with it. I'm totally okay with it. Okay. We can continue here. Ooh, that was a bit of excitement right there. I was like, oh, I hear some footsteps. I wonder what that is. <laughs> and lo and behold, it was like a dozen of friends that wanted to stop by and have dinner, except that I was on the menu and I didn't like the idea of that. Ooh, man. I'm freezing. I know. Do you have any clothes with me? Yeah. Oh, we have the punch on. Um, I haven't seen the latest video yet. Um, you guys linked it actually in the stream yesterday. Uh, the latest seven days to die video, video and um, from joel i haven't watched it but one of the changes apparently that we're gonna see is to wardrobe is you know the way that in the snow biome uh, your coat will give you heat and in the desert biome this will cool you down so they have done it now in a way as far as i understood it from what i was told i could have easily misread that so apologies and don't quote me just let me know actually if that is true or if, uh, if not i'm gonna watch the video um at the end of this weekend like on sunday so um i should know by then anyway but if you want to tell me in the comments and others let me know um basically that if you go to a snow biome now with a coat that gives you heat you get the heat but if you move out of the snow biome into a biome that doesn't require temperature compensation is specifically from the heat like protection it will stop working it will still give you the same protection but it will not make you freezing. It will not go negative on the points as far as I understood. Same for the desert. I would guess uh, that if you have like something that um, cools you down in the desert, it won't make you all of a sudden freezing your nips off when you get out of the desert and vice versa. If you are in a snow biome, as I said, and you put some warm clothes on, you won't all of a sudden bake to death when you leave the snow biome. It just loses that um, temperature attribute as far as I understood it. No! Naughty! <laughs> Basically, it means you don't have to constantly bring two pieces of um, clothing. You might get actually away with just with one type of clothing, depending if you need it for heat or for cold. You just pick the right one and leave it like that. Because usually it's enough to change the jacket and stuff. There we go. 
Um, we want about a thousand. So we have thousand. Oh, we have over a thousand two hundred. That is really lovely. So we're gonna go back to base now. See what we can smell to start and uh, start. Iron, 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 and um, rebar frames and cement. Another great tip you guys have given me in the comments is that um, you get obviously brass from radiators, yeah, and I knew that, like, yeah, so um, that was fine. But what I didn't know is, and I didn't, well, I know, but I didn't think about it, was that um, for radiators where you have the brass, you can just mine cars and get the batteries and turn them into lead. So you do have a reason to go back and scrap as many cars as possible, you know, so for, for this type of item, for the for the battery. So either use it in your bike or a couple of them to power your base, but there's more than a couple on the map, so you can get loads of them and uh, start burning them down for lead. Okay, I did it. I actually spent the 20 points on Sexy Saurus and our energy is doing brilliantly. Look at this. It keeps going back to 85 straight away. Absolutely fantastic. It's brilliant. So iron tools, we sorted now with energy, which is great. And all it took was Sexy Saurus level 4 which is not bad. So let's see if we can find any, I don't know, that's all earth. Okay, I was going to try it out now, but I don't want to dig up any more earth, but I wanted to try it with the shovel, but I'm going to finish off these stones here. Now, the plan is, I have a design in mind for the second part of the building, but what I want to do is I want to finish the top part of my current floor first as well. Did this zombie just disappear over there and just jump up in the air or something? It looked really weird. It was like, there, it was there and then boop, it was gone. <laughs> um, so yeah, so the plan is to go back, to queue up a lot of iron, to make a lot of rebar frames and to actually also get a lot of stone in the furnaces, do some cement, get the concrete, maybe make a, a second cement mixers. We're gonna have to go on a car. Um, we have to go on a car grind as well. So I think we're going to have a lot of cars here in the cities. There's loads of cars here, so it shouldn't take too long. It should be just really... We do that next episode, but it should, should only take a little bit of time because we are actually quite ahead. And I'm going to leave the days on 90 so we can have a little bit more fun with the planning and the building so we don't feel so rushed all the time. I leave on Valmod. I leave everything on 60 minutes because there we are having open horde nights. Where So if you haven't seen it yet, you should check it out. We have open horde nights in Valmod from now on, which means basically we are outside. We're trying things like fences, traps, uh, moving around, uh, guiding them through the traps and whatever is needed. So we um, are not hiding in a building basically. Oh, that is really good timing because that drink was needed. Yes, look at that. Beautiful. And how much iron do we actually have now? Oh, okay, if I get a little bit more, if there's a couple of more rocks, that mean we have over 2,000. Oh, we already have over 2,000 because it's 1,200. Okay, in that case, we can skedaddle. Where is Bikey? There's another thing I just noticed. And that is... Now it makes sense. I couldn't remember what you guys said in the comments and someone mentioned in the comments something about steel smithing and I got really confused. You can actually learn steel smithing in vanilla as soon as you have science three and tool smithing six. Look at that and weapon smithing four. So we're going to buy that and now we can make the crucible, the forged steel, and we should be able to make steel tools, which is amazing because the next level of tool smithing is not going to happen until level 60. And it's only because I was looking for smithing, I noticed steel smithing, and now it makes sense because I was thinking like to myself, hang on a second, I have to get a plex smithing and all that. And that's what I meant by I keep mixing up uh, the games. So anyway, this is really, really good going. So we're going to get a lot of more iron here and then we're going to go home. And that was probably it for the episode, guys. We're not going to do much building or anything because we're going to have to wait for all this to cook. And we're going to have to plan the base while this is all cooking up. And uh, rebar frames. So one forge, we're going to start pumping in rebar frames um, and stone or iron and stone. And the other one, we're just going to do stone, stone, whatever is needed. I don't know yet. We'll see. And we don't need the dirt there. Thank you. All right. Okay. So let's leave it here and go back to the base, which is over there. So yeah, it's great to pick up all these stones on the way home. You're lucky my inventory is full. Actually, do you know what? I just noticed that... Oh, I'm missing the deer. I sh there we go. Now I have to get my bike. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Oh man, I'm such an idiot. 
Let me see what we have here. Excellent. And we leveled up. We leveled 54. We actually leveled up our mining about two or three times, guys. Okay, so I, I keep forgetting where my bike is. This is an absolute disaster. If I wouldn't have a marker on the map, I would just be completely lost. Now, where where is the... There we go. There it is. Because I forgot. We have a bike. We can just put stuff in there. I'm an idiot. Okay, do I have a knife with me? Of course I have a knife with me. There we go. If my head wouldn't be attached to my body. Now everything is queued up. We have um, Reba frames going. We have more Reba frames going and clay and iron going in here. We have loads of stone being made and cement being made. So we are on our way. Now on this other side here, what we're going to do. So that's why I didn't want to upgrade these guys yet. On the other side, look at this. I finished the pole here in the middle as well. You've probably seen that in the last episode. So what we're going to do is on this side... You cannot get to the other side from down here because this will be a full wall. But what we're going to do on... Oh, look at you. You're not fully upgraded. We can upgrade you now. And there's another one. Oh, there's loads on that side. But what we can do is we can come up with some nice design that will allow us uh, to build like the second, third and fourth floor. Um without having to make a ground floor. Oh, excuse me, the hiccups. So, um, yeah, we're going to think of something here. But I'm going to leave this episode here. This was a lot of grinding. It had to be done. We're going to be grinding for cars in the next episode. But again, this is all part of the game. And after that, we're going to start working on some defenses as well. Before we start working on the next part of the building, I just mentioned it early enough to let you know because a lot of questions came up while I made this so wide. And I want to use the room up here as well. So this will be used. Yeah, there will be things in it. Like even if it's just to chill out and for a few in a balcony or something. Yeah, but um, the, ne the, the next part of the building will be the same length as this, except with the extra space. So we have everything in an uneven number, of course. And then we're also going to be working on defenses next episode. Maybe not electric fences because I'm not a big fan of them. I try them out in Valmod because you have a nice small area. But when it comes to a big area, I'm not a big fan of them. They just break too easily and then you just have to manage it all. It's just such a pain in the balls. So what we're talking about here is like spikes, turrets, things like that. And then we can still go outside and have fun. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, feel Spaß and happy gaming. Let's see how our gunpowder is doing. And we also can wrench a car on the way. Why not? That's all we have for anyway in the next episode. So we might as well give that a little go. I already have a lot of batteries in the engine, but I would like to see what we can get and we can actually put into the forge, like the batteries and just put a few in and see how much lead we're gonna get and how many um, grills we get, car grills, whatever they're called, that we need for bronze, uh, for brass. So there you go. Um, oh, what an engine, are you kidding me? A 597. Oh, yes. Oh, that is so much better than what we have. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm taking that. That is amazing. A 597. Oh, and all I wanted to do is check for gunpowder. That's all I wanted to do. Nobody here? No. <laughs> there we go. We got some paint. We got some gunpowder. And we can queue up some more. Oh, I forgot all my wood. Ah, my balls. I have to go chopping trees now for all the wood frames that we need. Ah, I crafted about 150 wood frames and I completely forgot about them. Un friggin' believable. Did I leave my axe at home as well? Are you kidding me? Oh, my balls.